Gucci Beauty. I am back and I am back with an unboxing. It is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, not the Ultimate. I think it's called the Plus. I used to get the Ipsy, the regular Ipsy, which is $12 a month. You get five uh, small or mini size, trial size products in a bag. Um, but I did upgrade. I did get that every other month. I continue to get Ipsy every other month. However, I decided to stop the smaller Ipsy and go to the larger Ipsy kind of in the middle because there is also an Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate that I did not want to subscribe to. I think that one might be, I don't know, is it 50? But I paid $25 for this box. And this is the size of the box. Usually it comes every other month for me. You can choose to get it every month. Um, it, when you open it, you get, you usually get a foam on the inside covering all the product. Oops, I don't want to show everything. Uh, and then you get a card. Uh, this card is actually like your brochure that has the uh, products in your, you can also add on by the way, which I, I missed that. I always miss that where you can add on. Uh, but anyway, so uh, you've got, where does it, it tells you what products, it usually tells you what products are in here. Uh, and what it retails at, but this is called Get That Glow. Get That Glow. The card for this month. This is my May box. Huh. Add on to the Ultimate Ipster, De Ipster Deal. Um, I'm not seeing, let's see, Highlighter 101. I thought that there would have been a card in here detailing and maybe I didn't get it this morning. Hmm. So I, it looks like I did not get the card. I thought that we get a card uh, inside it. It's inside this card. It says highlighter 101 from basic from the from basics to must try hacks. Here's how to get the most out of every highlighter powder for Soft focus, highlight, press, and will. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure what this is, but I usually get a, um, interesting. I usually get something explaining what's in the box and what it retails at. But let's go ahead and start. The first item that I have in my bag that I'm pulling out are these, um, brushes they are from the company MOTD cosmetics I've never heard of this company look but let's go ahead and unbox that this I'm turning down the light because it was a little glaring when you were looking at the guys I I don't know if there's any makeup in here to try on but I just got finished doing a um, elf try on um, so, uh, I won't be able to try on any cosmetics. It looks like I have one, two, three, four, five small eyeshadow brushes. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Let you see the sizes. I've been snacking. I am PMSing, so I've been snacking uh, all day, which is TMI, very TMI. Sorry, I dropped one of the brushes, but this is how one looks up close. They feel okay in the hand. Um, they're light. Sultry Smudge. So this is a smudger brush. Uh, you've got no fudge, just smudge. I don't understand. This, this small one. One of these all smudger brushes. Straight to the point is what this one says. 
pencil me in is what this one says and masterpiece crease let's go ahead is what this one says so they have cutesy little names that actually describe what they are to be used for so I'm going to stick these in back into the uh, sealed packaging that they came in and we will move on I'm sorry I cannot tell you what these would cost um, I don't know where the, um, I, I could have sworn I'm supposed to be having an insert with uh, the description of these items and things like that. Let's go ahead and pull out the bag. The bag is really cute. I don't care if anybody else does not like this. I think this is one of the cuter bags in my opinion. Uh, it looks like sky blue up here. And this down here, this just reminds me of the beach right here. And this is the inside of it. This is very cute, very cute. So we've got our little Ipsy bag and an Ipsy bag usually does come with every one of these uh, Ipsy Plus um, versions. So yes, you got your bag here. The next item is called Mimosa Moment Eyeshadow Palette. Now, I guess my issue with this is these are supposed to be full-size items, right? They kind of, oh, this is vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, and gluten-free. They seem to use, they seem to put quads, uh, smaller palettes, when you would think there would be mostly full-size palettes, like, but you can actually call this full-size. I mean, who's going to call it many? You can call it what you want to call it, but um, it is a palette. So let's just see what it looks like. I just, I noticed that their palettes are usually smaller palettes. So let's go ahead and take it out of the cardboard box here. Yeah, this is awfully small. Mimosa Moment Eyeshadow Palette. This lighting is not the greatest. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what kind of eyeshadow palette this is. It doesn't come with a brush, it's just a palette. It's got a very cute mirror on it. So let's go ahead and see. Very cute mirror. This is the palette. I don't know how to describe this palette. It's got rose colors in it. Uh, it's got your gold color over here. I don't know if I want to change this lighting to help out here. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and swatch it. I'm not gonna be able to put any on. There's really no need to put any on, but I will swatch it. Let's see, I'll do as many as I can. I was doing swatches earlier on the same arm. My daughter is calling, yes? Yeah, just a second. Okay, just a second. Here's the, ignore this. This was a previous swatch from a previous video. And these are pretty colors. Uh, most of these colors, except the white color or the light color here, I do have in my collection. But they do feel like they have a good, buttery, smooth type of texture. I don't see anything flaking or anything like that or breaking up uh, the last two I'll swatch on the other arm let's see one two three four 
and let me swatch well there's only one other one left and that's this one that's a pretty matte color this is a pretty matte color so I've got two three four let's see one two three four mattes and two shimmers four mattes and two shimmers <laughs> she's still calling me so let's move on right, guys if I didn't mention before if you couldn't see it the name of this palette is called colored rain the name of the palette is called colored rain which is an interesting name um, I can't make the connection between what it looks like and, and colored rain, but that's what they're calling it. Uh, oh, trying to put it back in the box. La 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 la. All right, let's move on. I see another product in here that says cruelty free. So, so far we have, including the bag, one, two, three products. Let's get to four and five. Okay, the fourth product is a Tartiest Lip Paint. It is a, I can try that on because I just have a light gloss. Uh, my other lipstick from uh, the other filming is wearing off. So this is called Tartiest Lip Paint, Tarte. So let's go ahead and, wow, okay. Um, I don't know guys, this is dark. I don't know if this would be a nude or what this would be on me. Um, I'm not going to swatch it because I'm going to put it on. Quick Dry Matte. Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint is what this is called. Go ahead and look at the applicator. Well, my wrinkled hand is not really doing it justice for you to see. So it's just your basic lip applicator. Let me go find something to wipe off what I have on and we'll be right back. All right guys, coming back with clean lips here. Let's go ahead, grab my mirror and put this on. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get close but not too close. Okay, at first it looked like a dark brown. This might be a very good nude on me. It looks like it is a very good nude on me. Let's clean it up a little bit. Sorry guys. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's so nude. <laughs> I don't know if anybody will think I have lip color on at all. But yeah, guys, this is what it looks like. It's not creasing sticky. And I guess if I wanted to, I could put some gloss. I do have a By Terry gloss I could put on it to shine it starting in from the center and they just blot but let's go ahead and go with this look so let's move on i can't tell you how much these products are without taking up time um more time and looking on online but guys i do like this for my lip color i'm on board with that looks very nice on my skin tone anyways 
Um, then you've got a glaze number one lip oil. Maybe that is what I should use on my lips prior to putting something like uh, what I have on. This is from In Beauty Project. In Beauty Project, which I've never heard of this company before. I don't know if it's gonna focus in on their logo here. But let's go ahead and take this out. And I, I might just go ahead and put this a little bit on top so it comes like this. It's a red lip oil. And I do have another lip oil that's red like this. The huh, it's pretty thick applicator. The doe foot applicator is, is pretty wide. So I don't want to put too much on my lips. It's got this weird sweet smell to it. This is not a gloss, it is a lip oil, but I'm just, I put it in the center of my mouth and it's thick. The formula is thick on this oil. It's not causing my lipstick to move around and I like it. I like it. It's just a little thick so I think this would be one of those oils that um, if you use it as a topper or use it just to moisturize your lips alone and you have your hair down, your hair would stick to your lips. It's one of those I'm thinking. But it feels good, it smells sweet, which I like, but if you don't like a sweet smell, this one you might wanna pass on, but it says plump, hydrate, and smooth. Those are the claims. A naturally colored and flavored lip oil that envelops lips in plumping hydration, juicy candy apple flavor, which explains the sweet smell that I had uh, experienced. Uh, juicy candy apple flavor sweetened with stevia. Made with our unique combo of red root oil, pomegranate, apple, and a plant-based plumping complex. So this actually um, says, in beauty we trust, free from mineral oil, synthetic fragrance, silicones, PEQ, G, sorry, sulfates. So this is definitely a clean brand or clean product, at least. Um, and I am here for this. In beauty, it says... Um, in beauty we trust so i'm liking that guys this is it for nope guys i am mistaken there is one more item in here wander beauty wander beauty and i am not certain what this is it almost looks like it's it's a clear um fluid inside here and the applicator almost looks like an eyeshadow excuse me an eye um, mascara wand so I don't know if I want to guess at what this is. I guess this would be a, a um, eyelash primer prior to putting on your mascara. But let me look at that card one more time. This is not your... This is not your a typical card that's in here. So it's not really describing what's in the box. Let me go to Wander Beauty's website, see if I can get some more information on this and I'll be able to hopefully explain it. All right, I found if I log into my account and I forgot that I was able to do this, uh, it tells me what's in my bag. So of course I received the bag, 
with five full-size products. I received the In Beauty Project number one lip oil candy apple. You saw that. This is a Wander Beauty Frame Your Face Precise Brow Gel in clear. It's a brow gel in clear. So let's go ahead and <laughs> I've never tried a clear brow gel. Does it say brow gel? So let's see what this does. I mean, I, I, I'm not sure what this gel does besides maybe keep your eyebrows in place. So I will take a finger and even that. Okay, like that. Not exactly sure. Is this like hair gel? Is it gonna be sticky? I don't know. So let's do this side. This is interesting for me. I've never done brow gel because I mean this might be something I turn to if this doesn't end up being sticky. I will use it to keep my brows from being wild which they can tend to be sometimes because I'm not into putting color too much on my does this have a scent it smells like glue <laughs> but uh, not strong but it smells something like an adhesive for some reason but um, this could be my go-to uh, to keep my brows after I comb them you guys have seen me comb them and then go over it lightly with this brow gel and let dry I'm not sure what this is going to feel like when it's it's not going on extra hard so yeah this could be a product for me, but it's not saying um, what the retail price is. The Colored Rain Cosmetics Mimosa Moment Palette, um, that is what they're calling this. Um, and the Tartius Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint in Fortune, or Fortune, uh, is what I put on my lips that I do like. Um, so guys, all in all, I do like um, my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus this month for the month of May 2020. Um, I will continue with them until I get, I have to be really, really, really angry or pissed off uh, and I have not been. I understand that the ultimate has been an issue with people uh, from time to time and what they receive. So actually my daughter just turned on the light which did a world of good i should have had it on this whole time but guys that ends it and we will talk to you uh the month after next for the next uh ipsy because i do receive these every other month but i am pleased with this month's imp ipsy let me know what you got in your bag and we can discuss it in the comments down below like the video if you like it and subscribe if you like the rest of my content we'll see you later bye